welcome back everybody i'm glad to have you guys here now this video here is not going to be a regular travel vlog or adventure vlog this is more about a review and the setup of the orv mesh wi-fi network now i went and picked up the orv uh neck gear routers over the weekend i just got them this morning i'm going to go ahead and set them up see how my network improves and do a review on it. So the reason why I went with the RV Netgear is because they provide you with the mesh network setup. Um, and what what that's gonna do for me is right now my Wi-Fi situation kind of sucks. Like at nighttime, my whole Wi-Fi just drops, and I'm not able to get Wi-Fi where I'm at. So like my router, it's pretty far from where I'm normally at, but I have to get that going. And also I want to go with, um, I'm also working on my smart home setup. So I need to set up some lights and things like that, but I can't do that if my Wi-Fi doesn't work because they work off of Wi-Fi. So that's why I went with this, so I can get my Wi-Fi situation going first and then go and do the rest with the smart home. So first things first, I gotta change and then we'll get to this. So let's do that. So I'm still not sure as to what I'm going to do, like where I'm going to set them up. So I still have to figure out where I'm going to set this bad boy at. Like I'm thinking maybe I can do one in the bedroom and then one in the living room, or maybe one in the living room and then one outside. Not sure. Disregard all the cutscenes is that I have to take a lot of breathers because I have allergies and I can't breathe through my nose. I have to go. <gasps> And then cut right into it because yeah it's not working so let's get right into it ultimately you're going to have three main points and they all talk to each other the first point is going to be the router that one is the one you'll be connecting to the already existing router the other two will be the satellites those satellites you'll put them in different locations typically you want to set them up wherever you have dead zones at home now that you have the router plugged in and powered up you're going to see a white ring on top of the router that's going to indicate that the router is ready to be configured now to begin the configuration process you have two options you can one download the mobile app you can get it for ios or android devices or two you can go into the website and do it through there now, me, I used the app. It was very simple. You simply got to scan the barcode on the back of the router and just simply follow the process. It takes you about two to three minutes. It's very simple. Now, I was debating between going with the Google Wi-Fi or the Orbi Netgear, but the reason why I went with the Orbi Netgear is because it provides me with 2.2 gigabits per second of internet speed, and it also covers up to 6,000 square footage, which is exactly what I needed. Those numbers sound good and all, but that's not all. It allows you to remote into your network from any remote location, see what exactly is going on. You can see if anything fishy is going on on your network while you're not home, which happens a lot. It also allows you to disconnect any suspicious devices you may see on the network from a remote location. You're still able to configure and modify your network on the fly. And not just that, but it also allows you to establish a VPN connection which I think is just a great feature. After setting up the router, I have noticed that there is no lag, there's no internet drabs, and the internet speeds stays consistent. And the internet speeds have actually gone up from what they were previously at. And those right there are the main reasons why I went with the Orbi router instead of the Google Wi-Fi. But that doesn't mean that the Google Wi-Fi just sucks. It just doesn't do what I want it to do. But I would still recommend it to other consumers. It really depends as to the consumer and what their needs are. For me, it just doesn't satisfy it. But I'll go ahead and leave the links down below to both devices. So if you guys want to look into them, you can go ahead and do that. And also by using the link that I provided to you guys, you'll be helping me out too. And I'm still working on my smart home setup. So if that's something you guys are interested in checking out, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do a video on it. All in all, it's been nice hanging out with you guys. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.